How's it going, Chip Tribe? It's me, Chips, here with another new episode of the Chip Tide Show. Now, after last episode's ordeal, which if you haven't seen it, link in the description below, go check it out when you're done with this. I thought it'd be for the best if we do this episode from the safety of my own office here on good old Earth. Now, today, I've got a treat for you all because we are playing a game that I'm sure you all know and love. That's right. In this episode, we're playing some Smash. If somehow you've made it this far without knowing at least a little bit about the Smash Bros. series, honestly, I'm impressed. Every time one of these bad boys is announced, it sets the internet on fire, with speculation running rampant about who's going to be the next one to join the battle. The first Smash Bros. game I played as a kid was Brawl for the Wii, but today we are playing the newest installment in the series, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. So I guess I should start off by giving a bit of a background on the game for all one of you who haven't played it before. Super Smash Bros. is a fighting game series that features all of your favorite Nintendo characters duking it out to settle all the playground disputes of who would win in a fight. Some of the games have a story mode, but the main game itself doesn't have, nor does it need, a story of any kind. It doesn't matter why all these beloved Nintendo characters are beating the crap out of each other, all that matters is that it's fun as hell. The main allure of this game is the huge roster. A large part of the marketing for this game was the tagline, Everyone is here, meaning that anybody who is in a past Super Smash Bros. game is back, plus some new fighters to boot. As a result, pretty much everyone you ever wanted to play as is here, as well as some people you've probably never heard of before. But, of course, I couldn't talk about this game's roster without addressing the elephant in the room. There is one Nintendo favorite that people have been asking for to be in this game for years, and arguably deserves to be in there more than the 100 Fire Emblem characters. But, as of now, Captain Toad has yet to be revealed. I know, a tragedy. You're telling me they put this guy in the game before Captain Toad? And, and yes, I know his lack of jumping ability could be a problem, but they put Little Mac in there, so I don't see the issue. Well, this game has many modes. Without a doubt, the main attraction is the Smash mode. You and up to seven other players can duke it out to determine who is the best. There are countless options for you to customize the way you want to play, but without a doubt, my favorite- Whoa, 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 You! Did I- are you talking about Smash? Uh, yeah. Wait, who are you? How did you get into my office? The name's Calvin, but you can call me... Competitive Calvin. I'm pretty much the best in the world when it comes to Smash, so, uh, I'll take it from here. What? No, this is my show. You can't just- Nah, 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 trust me. I'm gonna enlighten you and your audience on the real way to play Super Smash Bros. Okay, for starters, if you don't have one of these bad boys, a nice GameCube controller to play on, go ahead and stop watching now. There is no hope for you. Alright, now that all those joy conners are gone, it's time for the pros to talk. Alright, so you know that huge roster Chips mentioned earlier? Yeah, you can go ahead and forget about all that. What you need is a main, one character that you play exclusively. Never deviate, never change it up. You can always go with the character you like best, but a better option is to look up a tier list to figure out which one is statistically the best. No use wasting your time with anything less than A. You'll never win that way. So, now that you have your main, we need to get you up to date on all the rules. Now, this game may give the illusion there there are a lot of options, but in reality, there is only one definitive set. Three stock, no time, no items, and you see all those different stages? Well, this should be the last time that you do, because the only real stage is Final Destination, or Battlefield if you're feeling frisky. Now that just about covers everything you need to know on how to play the greatest, most technical, and skill-based fighting game ever made. Now all that's left to do is to play this game for hours and hours, learn all the terminology, and you're ready to destroy some noobs. I hope you enjoyed this episode of the Chip Tide Show. I'll see you next time. Where are we now, now, now? Just wait one minute. I'm not going to let you sit here and poison my audience with these lies. That's how you play Smash? Can you even call that playing? No, 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 no. This episode is far from over. Everybody grab a seat, take out your notes, because I'm about to educate you on the real way 
to play Smash Brothers. The first thing you're gonna need is at least three friends. Those GameCube controllers Calvin was talking about, you don't need them. Any old pair of Joy-Cons will work just fine. In fact, if you absolutely need to, a single Joy-Con will suffice. For characters, I do agree that you need a main. However, this main should always and forever be random for everybody. Same thing goes for the stages. The more unpredictable, the better. As for rules, well, this is where it gets a little bit complicated, so pay attention. Ready? Select Special Smash from the main menu and change it so everybody starts at 300%. Once your characters are selected, turn on all of items, set the launch rate to 2.0, and set the time to 2 minutes, and you're ready to play the greatest party game ever made. Everybody dies in a single hit, so try to rack up as many KOs as you can. In this mode, you live by the iframes, you die by the iframes. Now, I know what you're all saying. What if I have eight people and I can't do special smash? Well, have no fear, there's a simple solution. Keep the launch rate at 2.0, but everybody has to be Captain Falcon. His side B is a one-shot kill every time. Party preserved. No, 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 no. I will not let you soil the good name of Smash with this, this abomination. Hey, man, don't knock it till you try it. <laughs> At least it's actually fun, unlike the wet blanket of a rule set you use. All right, you want to come at me? Well, there's only one way to settle this. We, we settle, settle it in Smash. Smash. Okay, here are the rules. First round, we do it my way. Second round, we do it your way. Final round is the classic. All items, no sock, two minutes, no times two launch rate or any of that nonsense. Best two out of three wins. Sounds good to me. Impossible. I've spent years honing my craft. I am the perfect smash machine and I go to lose to a guy who doesn't even own a GameCube controller. Well, I... You won. You're happy. You know what? This whole thing made me realize something. The real reason Smash is so great. It's not because it's a technical masterpiece of a fighting game and it's not because it's the greatest party game in the world. No. It's because it's both and everything in between. You can play this game any way you want, and everyone can find a way to have fun. You know what? I think you might be right. Any way you want to play this game, whether it's ultra competitive or a straight up torture simulator, you can, and any way is valid. Hey, sorry I got a little heated back there. Wanna play one more game? Just for fun? Sure, pal. Um, uh, just a second, my assistant Richard's been using my Switch to play World of Light for the past few hundred hours, eh? Uh... Hey, Richard, get over here, we're playing some Smash. We just had a heart-to-heart -heart moment over here, it was beautiful. Get over, come on, get over here. The Arnold Galleon can wait. Huh.
Hey guys, thanks so much for sticking around to the end of the video. I tried some new things out with this one, I tried to make it a bit shorter, so make sure you let me know what you thought in the comments below. I'm still pretty new at this, so any feedback is much appreciated. But if you did enjoy, hit that subscribe button and the bell icon so you can get notified when the next episode of the Chip Tide Show is out. If all goes to plan, it should be three weeks from now. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter at the Chip Tide to stay up to date on everything. But with that, I will see you next time where we are taking a look at one of my favorite games of all time. But until then, don't forget to take it easy.